one. Right on. Yeah, how are you guys? Good to see you. Everybody processing and grieving over Betty White? I know, right? What a rough couple of weeks, man. Betty White, Bob Saget, John Madden. I guarantee John Madden never played a single down of Madden football. <laughs> Ever. There's no way. Not a chance. It was called Madden football. He never played it. I asked my mom, I was like, you know, what do you think? Is, is there anybody else on the planet that spent less time playing with something that they were named after? And she said, yeah, your dad. It's <laughs> like, yeah, you know what? That makes sense. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> we'll get to all the stepdads that I have here in just a moment. Now, it's been a rough couple of weeks. I'm starting to realize that I am turning into my parents. Because when we were kids, my mom used to make us pizza rolls, but then she would eat all the pizza rolls. And now, every night, I make my daughter three whiskey sours. It's crazy. I got a 13-year-old daughter. She gives me a tough time about my Chuck Taylors. I'm like, well, sweetie, how else are people supposed to know that daddy still listens to Blink-182? <laughs> this guy's like, yeah. <laughs> she looked at me one day. She was like, you going to keep wearing those? I was like, yeah, sweetie. Punk rock ain't dead? She's like, punk rock is dead. I'm like, how do you know? She's like, because your Chuck Taylors have Dr. Scholl's inserts. <laughs> That's how I know. Now, I'm, uh, I'm originally from uh, northern Minnesota, small town. It's tough not to drink when you're from a small town. Like, even our post office had a Bud Light sign in the window. <laughs> then when I was 19, I, uh, I moved to Wisconsin. Here's the thing about Wisconsin, when you get there, they just hand you a pint glass and an extra large Packers shirt. You're like, well, can I get a medium? They're like, nobody wears a medium in this state. There's a reason why we haven't won Miss America. I knew you guys weren't gonna go on board with that. <laughs> They're like, listen, even though we hate them, we're not gonna be mean. It's nice of you guys, right on. Now, all my stepdads are from Wisconsin. Stepdads are like DWIs. If you got two or more, you are probably going to do some jail time. <laughs> I'm remodeling my bathroom right now, too, which is weird because like I've been going to like, everyone's like, well, what are you going to do? You don't have a bathroom. I'm like, I just go to LA Fitness or I just, you know, keep a couple of trash bags with a five gallon bucket. And they're like, what? That's the craziest thing ever. I'm like, no, 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 listen. No, 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 I'm, I'm from northern Minnesota. Like, we went ice fishing with our parents as kids. Like, this is my slumdog millionaire moment. <laughs> Bathroom needed it too, man. It was awful. It was so bad. Like, when I bought the place, I walked with my realtor. He looked at it, and he knew the house was nice, but the bathroom was shit. He walks in, he's like, wow. Oh. This bathroom's kind of charming. I'm like, the bathroom from Saw had more charm to it. <laughs> Like, I don't know what's so off-putting about pink tile and butterfly wallpaper. And also, if you're a realtor, trust me, don't ever look at your client and be like, you know, I know it's unconventional, but uh, I really like this bathroom carpeting. <laughs> it's not good. No way. Mm -hmm. Trying to date you guys together? No? Guessing two people in matching sweatshirts, you guys would have been all about it. No? Right on. <laughs> He's like, he's like, I'm just here for, you know, I'm here for the free drink. You're not even drinking, dude. I, you look like a guy who could put him down. You look like a guy who's definitely gone through a couple of stints of rehab. <laughs> for sure. Holy shit, dude. Between my arms, your arms, and that guy's face, we equal one part-time job. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Wow. Right on. Tat tattoos are everywhere nowadays. You notice that? They're ubiquitous, man. I know. You, you get judged, though, right? You ju yeah. Well, I walked into a gas station one time. A lady looked at me. She was like, drug user. I was like, so? <laughs> I do that shit, man. I, know. I had a cop walk by me. He had a bunch of tattoos. He walks by. He's like, what's up, bro? I'm like, I don't think we're bros. <laughs> I got bros. They don't give me tickets for pissing outside at Mardi Gras, so please. Oh, I like yeah. the people that say something, it's the people that judge you with their eyes. Yeah, I agree, dude, yes. He said, uh, people who judge you with your eyes. Which is why I fucking stand up here in silence to all you people. This is amazing. <laughs> this is great. Well, that's cool. He looks like a nice guy, good cuddly guy. Is he a cuddly guy? Would you know? You a hugger? 
Hugger You're a hugger? That's good. You need one after the show. Yeah, if you need one after the show. I know about 15 people that need one after this show. <laughs> no, man. Huggers are great. Huggers are uh, they're great, man. I don't like that they voice hugs on you, though. They're just like, get in here. Oh, I'm a hugger. I'm not even going to ask. I'm just going to fucking hug. I can't walk into a restaurant and meet somebody and be like, hey, uh, nice to meet you. I hope you don't mind. But uh, I'm a titty fucker. Get on that table. I'm going to fuck them titties. Yeah. What's your friend's name? Dwayne. Dwayne, you look like a D-cup. Get on that table. I'm going to fuck them titties. All right, you guys. I'm Rudy Bobich. Have a great night.